What is up? What is going on, Dave? SVA Baseball Card Collectors. Rough, rough Game of Thrones. <clears throat> rough. Really good. Some surprises. One person told me it was a fluff show, and I would not say that that was a fluff show, because there was plenty of things that happened. So, um, next one is supposed to be the big one. That's the war again. We'll see what happens. I might cry. I may cry a little bit in my little Game of Thrones, but that was good. My Yankees won two out of three against the Twins. I don't know why. They have something against those Twins, boy. They come to Yankee Stadium, they forget how to play. And we stink right now. We don't have anybody. And uh, yet we're able to figure them out. So that's good news. Mr. Uh, Herman, if you can get his autograph cheap, he's 5-1 right now. Um, his autographs, because I was looking for one, was 20 bucks. So he is pitching really well. The thing with him, though, is he can only go to, like, the fifth or sixth inning. Anything else, he's, they start hitting him. They start teeing him off. So I, I don't know what that is, why that is. But um, he'll, go, he'll go five or six innings tops. And he'll give up one run. That's it. But ask him to go seven, good luck. Good luck with that, buddy. So tops tier 2019 is coming out in two days. And also, Leaf is coming out. I forget what they're called. Um, the Leaf one. But um, the Leaf one looked really nice, too. I like the Tier one looked amazing. But um, I'm trying to look at it as it as I'm waiting for the light. Of course, I had it right up. But heaven forbid, it stays exactly where I want it to. So after I almost hit people. It is... You got Topps Tier. I already said that. Topps Baseball Finest is coming out in June 6th, which doesn't help you at all because we're not even talking about that. Uh, oh, good. This is 2018. So that's great. I'm at 2017-2018. That's why I can't find anything. Oh, uh, guys... What I do sometimes. Yeah, 2019. There we go. That's why I can't find anything. So, maybe I'll get there. Maybe You guys can just listen to me. Uh, well, Panini Prism is coming out May 15th, and it looks exactly the same as the basketball ones that everyone was collecting. Um, everyone was going after that Luka Doncic. Um, it looked pretty cool, to be honest with you. The only thing, again, the stupid no logos, they look ridiculous. The card is going to be beautiful, and it's going to have this stupid no logo. Major League really needs to give these guys a license. They've uh, been in the toilet enough where they should be able to have a license by now. Ridiculous. And Tier 1 is on the 8th, and Leaf Trinity Baseball is on the 10th. And I think a lot of the minor leaguers are in that. They say that's one of the best ones for that. And Leaf Panini, you know non-Major uh, League Baseball logo. And, I mean, they look they look really good. Um, I don't know how expensive they are per box. I know the Tier 1s were expensive. I think like 110, 120, and you're only getting three cards. Uh, imagine not hitting anything on that. Boy, would I be pissed. Um, I don't, wow, Hobby Box is $200 for these uh, Leaf Trinities. So you must be just getting six on-card autographs, so that's why. You're just getting autographs. So you're probably gonna be paying for, I don't know how many come in a case. 12 boxes per case. So those case breakers are gonna start hitting you up. I think it's gonna be the same thing. Tampa Bay is gonna be expensive. Uh, Toronto's gonna be expensive. And um, I think that's about it for the, you got Joey Park, so you got San Francisco. Um, and then whatever minor guys that everyone's saying is going to be the next big thing so they can pump up their price. You got that. That's a little fun. Um, I am in a dilemma with my Gary Sanchez, Sanchez card because there are people who are giving me offers and they're looking back and that's why I hate comps. I hate when people go, what do you comps say? What, 
was the comps? If you always went by the comps, the car would never go up. It would just stay at whatever. First time someone buys it, it would just stay right there. So, it's demand. What is, it's just really the question should be, what is the demand for this car? Not, what's the comp set? So they keep on throwing back the comp for it, it was $310, which is of course what I bought it for. And uh, I was offered $700 for it. And I am, I returned back at 950, because I'm going for a thousand. And everyone will go, it's just Gary Sanchez. At one point, he was one of the biggest prospects, just like uh, any of these other guys. When he came up and hit 17 home runs, I'm sure his car was booming. Not as high as this, but as everyone else is now, but it was. Before that, the souls were, I think, $850 or $900 for that same car. There's only 10 in existence right now. 10. And it's... Uh, 2010, I think it's a 2010, I don't think it's a 2013, I forget. But in either case, the car's old, and there's only 10 of them. They got a PSA 10 with an autograph. Now, this is the base, of course, and looking at all the cars, you go, well, Aaron Judge is only getting 12, 1300. How much better do you think he is? <clears throat> and I don't think he's better, obviously, but I think the card is going to be harder to get. And I'm worried that. I sell for a thousand and this thing's gonna catapult up to even more. I don't even sell it for a thousand, I sell it for seven or eight. Um, I just don't know. I, I really don't. And that's my dilemma. I put it to a thousand dollars thinking no one's gonna come near it, but now that he's hitting well, he might. And uh, which is a good thing. I mean, I was m more than doubling my money in a couple of months, which is a great thing. And I should be focused on flipping, but for this card, A, because I'm a Yankee fan, so I'm biased, and that's why I need to also get out of um, But, I don't know. I, I don't know. I do know. I'm, I'm very torn. I have three days left on my serious auction that I bid on a Clemente on. I'm sure that's not going to hold, because typically it doesn't hold because people will overpay for Mr. Clemente, and that's that. I don't know why. I mean, he's a great player, but most of the people that are bidding on him have never seen him play. I don't know really much about him, except for that his car keeps on going up in value, just like myself. So, hopefully I win, and if not, whatever. It is what it is. Um, I don't think I will be buying any new boxes of cards. <clears throat> still have to get over to the card shop to see what boxes they have available because a lot of times they sell things for cheap that are going for a decent amount of money and they just don't um, go with the times or they don't sell on eBay or they have the same crap on eBay that they've had for a long time and don't change their prices there's that as well the more act the, the more active you are in your your eBay store the better it is the more you change your, your items more you you know mess around with the title the price to see that you're doing stuff to your store and they will boost you up i'm telling you these things not because i need them because my it's just pure laziness on the ebay but i know what to do and once i start doing it i start getting sales and like well dave why don't you do that more because i'm lazy <laughs> when it comes to that stuff i'm very I hate taking pictures, taking everything out, because it's, I have so much stuff, and it's in this room, and I do a little bit at a time, it's just, sometimes can be daunting, so, I need to start posting more, I've always say it, and I will continue to say it, but, um, I'm trying to think of, I know my boy Ozzy Albies is doing well, and I have his orange, I have an orange auto of him, rookie of the year from 2018 Bauman, <laughs> and really, it's been staying at two, 250 I think which is good I bought it for 90 and got it um, graded for 21 bucks so I'm in it for like 110 115 bucks more or less and um, 250 would be a good return but um, I'm always wanting more, I'm wanting more. but um, I, I might lower the price
this, and I have it like stupid hot. <laughs> stupid hot. Um, and I, the cards that I'm willing to wait on, I don't mind. But at a certain point, I gotta go, all right, what am I doing? Am I selling this or am I wanna, you know, am I, do I wanna keep this? And um, that one I really don't wanna keep because I'm not a big Ozzy Albies fan, per se. Like, I'm not a Braves fan, so I don't know much about him besides, you know, reading his stats and maybe catching a, uh, a glimpse of him on highlight reels. But beyond that, no. And I know Ron Lacoon here, he's not doing as well. He might have done well the weekend, not too sure, but from what I saw last, he's been slumping a little bit. So now everybody uh, might start jumping off the bandwagon. They're not doing that for Cody Bellinger, boy. Bellinger is hitting the cover off that ball. He's doing well, and his cards are booming, just like Christian Yellick was. Uh, I think even more now, because you got base PSA 10s that are going high. So if you got them, sell them. Get them graded quickly and sell them. You know, if you got to pay 20 bucks to get it graded, do it. That's what I say. And get it back right away. Because if he gets hurt or anything like that, I think this is this initial boom of craziness you ain't going to see again from him. It's not going to be that high. I don't think it's going to double again in price. <clears throat> but who knows? <laughs> like that, yeah, I'd give you a, a piece of advice and I go, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But um, that's what I believe anyway. I am at my job. So you know what that is, time to run. SVA Baseball Card Collectors on Facebook, SVA BB Collectors on Instagram. You know what to do, buy some cards or go broke. Later, people.